Anyway, let me make this very clear. When it comes to starting off an SMP, there is a time in between getting your first full inventory and needing to store stuff somewhere and making a massive mega base that takes three and a half weeks to fully excavate. That time in between is called Purgatory in Limbo, and it's terrible. And I've sat there for the last four days, and instead of sitting there for another two weeks before I decide to inevitably go back to the ocean where my family is, apparently, I stayed up until 3 a.m. last night and got five hours of sleep for today, and I kind of hate myself for it, but I did this! What an exit. I made a base! More of base! Look at base! I turned this bitch into an island! A tropical oasis paradise! You know why? Because we've been missing the coconuts. Just a little bit. So I, I turned the base into like, something not as terrible. Now before you get like, super excited, no I haven't organized. But anyway, that's why I installed a mod to do that for me. Um, or to show me where I am, sorry. So anyway, like, I'm kind of organized. Hey, I'm like halfway there. I have blocks in these chests. And then nothing. And then I have like, vault stuff in the warp chests. And then like, all the shit everywhere else because it was 3am and I got tired. But, I made it like, good and stuff. So we got, this is the latest installation over here. We got shuriken lined up around that I already cleared out. Got some shuriken in my inventory. We got carrots. We got potatoes. We got potatoes. We got... Uh, I need to go and get beetroot. And we have... Four wheat. I probably need to light this area up a little bit. But the other... Yeah, so we have farms. We got farms going. I haven't laid out the, uh, the pumpkins and the melons yet. But we'll probably do that at, like, at some point in the next week. Uh, and then the vault area over here. Because I like the breaking off pattern. I did that in Season 2. And I figured I'd do it here in Season 3. So like I made this area... Uh, not just floating out in front of the, uh, in front of the island like it was before. So now we got, like, an actual, uh, island, or an actual, like, portal area over here. And then we got our three gladiators that have kicked my ass. And somehow, despite the skill difference, they can't figure out how to tie a Minecraft IGN to a skin file? That, that's just player diff at that point? How are you gonna kill me and then disrespect not only me, but the entire Minecraft community? Whatever, Steves. Okay, man. And then we got the lodestone with the titan lodestone compass that literally nobody will ever use, but we'll use it as an ode to the one vault that we had fun in. Uh, and then also right here. And we got a chesticle next to that that stores things that either modify vaults or allows you to make vault rocks. And then over here, same way we had in season two with the personal mechanism chest, I got like my little uh, hot bar or my inventory for going into vaults and running and stuff. This is like, should we move that a little bit, but... That's where we keep, like, the vault stuff specifically. And then I have, like, five crafting tables all down around here. And then we got the furnace, the furni, and the brewing stand, and the smithing table, and the anvils, and more more crafting tables. And then I move over to the artist station and tool vice. If you're wondering why in the patch notes, uh, you're, there was a note that these two don't drop when they're moved. You can thank me. <laughs> and thank Hellfire for giving these back to me at 2 a.m. when they didn't drop. Um, anyway, and if you're thinking, well, damn, man, I kind of really liked you living in a creeper base that nearly eliminated every item from day one if Zine didn't save your ass by sleeping. Where is the creeper hole? Well, if you follow the cum trail of emeralds that I have down here, you'll notice that the creeper hole is still a thing and the villagers are still down here. So if everything that I upgraded... Nothing of what other people come to my base for. It still looks like ass. But they're not out of a job yet. So the hole's like still here and everything. I just wanted to like lay it on the emeralds because I'm like, hey, stupid. If you can't f fi whoa. If you can't figure out where the things are because I can't properly lay out signs and put like good indications of, hey, if you want to find the villagers, go down the arbitrary destruction hole in the cave like thing. That's what the emeralds are for. I'm a stupid one, by the way. Um, so yeah, base is like less scuff now and looking good. Also, I love these trees because I was originally looking out across the world to find what kind of trees would look good with the base because I didn't really like the vanilla trees because they get too in your way and just they'd be big and I don't know, I didn't really like them too much. Uh, people were cutting them down. I know that like Kara came over yesterday and not only chopped the trees but also replanted them quite plentifully. So thank you for that. 
But yeah, like these are really cool because I was looking up saplings and there's not a lot, right? But I found these on beaches and stuff and you don't grow them by planting saplings. They don't drop saplings. They drop the coconuts. They drop coconuts on the ground and you eat the coconut and then you plant the coconut husk and then it grows into one of these things with bone meal and stuff. It's pretty cool, man. It's, pre it's like pretty neat and stuff. So it like doubles up, you know, you eat a coconut for a little slice of uh, onion on your hot bar and then you grow a husk and everything's good. And then these guys are born. I don't really know enough about the birds and the bees. So I'm not really sure where the crab dude came from. Just a coconut husk. But apparently I uh, am able to carry so congrats to me i guess but yeah that's like if you need to learn how the big bang happened i think we're experiencing parts of it right now anyway yeah so we're on uh my island has crabs basically we get we're crabby island pretty much um so that's like kind of cool and the last thing that i want to check on is of course there's never a wrong time to sing the song of the island people. Start stream. Yo, Toasty! Congrats! See you in the Gladiator Arena at the end of the day. But anyway, that's, uh, brother, that is not for you. You head ass looking ass. Move out of the way. What? Wait, wait, wait. East facing vault. I have, I have my ability. I have my thing. Oh. Oh my God. Wait a minute. The effect lasts for much longer than, uh, than just half a second. It takes time to fade off. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, Fulbright Hog, you're right. Oh, there- oh, there- oh, there we go. Oh, they're just scattered around?! I hit a Gilded! What the fuck?! They're just scattered around! Oh my god, wait a minute, I'm not running- I'm not doing any spawners today! This is a looting day, I'm going, man! Holy shit, and I have location finding for them now. What a first vault to test Hunter on, dude. Look at this. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of already forgetting a location already, but. Dude, if you want to talk about a vault where the chests stick out, this is that. Also, I'm going to get my ass eaten. Whoa, you are fast. Hey, hold on a second. Oh. Hold on a sec. Back, back your ass up. You fast guy. You fast fry. Leave me alone. Leave me alone right now. I don't need to be activating spawners. I don't need to be doing that. Marking off my exits? Yes, I am. I'm good. Well, this is fun.
Oh yeah, that's 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 not bad. All the powdered snow. Did you see that? Oh man. Oh shit. Oh, painite up there. But I do kind of want that. That's important. Jeez. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, that's a stray that's trying to snipe me. Got it, and I'm going. Got it, and I'm going. Oh! Got that one. Hey, bud. Holy shit. Ow. Hey, you guys are a little slow. Thank you, Al. Don't care about the other guy. How are the boots doing? Boots are doing fine after getting shot a couple of times. They're in the hallways? I mean, like, you know, I guess that's, like, pretty cool. I still feel like I'm not looting nearly as fast as I should be, though. Let me try and... Let me try and get smoothing a little bit. Take all of that for me, please. Please, I beg you to. Don't get lost. I'm marking my exits. Oh, it's just a different spawner. I thought there was an ornate over there. Oh. Oh. Hey, this is still worth it to grab. Except for that one. Oh, except for that one. What the? Hey, I'm not... What the fuck? Oh, get me out of this room. Just literally get me out of this room entirely. Goodbye. That's a problem for future me. What the hell? What the hell is this? Oh! Nullifying focuses? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Is this an Omega then? It has to be! What the... Dude, hold on. Let me get a view up here. Streamer's face? Yeah, man! This is probably a time loss, like, going up here and not around, but I'm just exploring a new room for the first- I'm at the ceiling! They really just went full build height with this room. This is fucking sick! I wonder if this is unique to snow vaults only, or if you can find these in any type of vault. Because the lower area looks like it matches the snow really well. Interesting. Okay, so hold on. Where's the way? Oh, the way down is here. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? Good? Hey, uh, 
Jordan, I think Hunter is a really good thing to take. I just have a hunch. I think maybe you should smack into it and give it a try. It, it keeps, it keeps, it keeps going lower. It ke I, 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 I have so much gear. I, what the fuck? It keeps going lower. How much experience am I going to get at the end of this vault from opening all these ornates? I've never seen this much gear in my life. And now it's dangerous. All right, we finally hit a trap, so I got to be a little bit mindful of myself now. I'm having a pretty good day to be honest with you. I'm, I'm having a, I'm having a pretty good time. I think I'm enjoying I think I'm enjoying myself at the moment. Oh, that's cool. Hey, get me off of that. It's time we got left in the vault 16 minutes. Okay, right, we're, we're fine. We're uh, we're good. We're we're good. Some vault ingots. That's pretty solid, you know? Hey, anything in uh I'm assuming Assuming nothing down in this. And that's it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off and say it's probably about it. I think we've looted nearly every check. Hey there, bud. Oh, you don't like that height difference, do you? I can hear the pitter-patter around. I don't know if that's them. I think we're, uh... I think we're good. Well then. Oh, there's another one up here. Hey, I need that, please. I need that! Thank you. Wow. Um, hey, you know, outside of the loot, I love the design of this room. It's gorgeous. This whole area right here... Oh, this is terrifying. I'm out of, uh, snowballing range, though, thankfully. Yeah, uh, incredible room. Love the build design. Great job. The immersiveness of it, the different floors that you have to go down. Incredible. A absolutely incredible. Do we have anything up on these little bits? No. Just, just, uh, just giving off the illusion that we got some tall mountains around. Very nice. Holy shit, man. That is, uh, well, that is more gear than I will get in a very long time, and we still got 14 minutes left of this vault. I am not greeting. At all. I'm heading back at like eight minutes time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the hell? I'm out. I grab those three. I go to the next room. Show me what you got. Single chess? Let's see my single chess. At least not in that range. See you over. I saw some more. Ooh. Thought I saw some more. Just saw that up there. All right, we gone. We gone. We move. We go. Yeah, thirty-two blocks is not a bad range. That's the thing. I think I underestimated it initially because I was used to the absurd range and usage of the, uh... of it in the second season. Last season, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. Not seeing any ornates in here. Like I said, I'm not- I don't care about spawners and all that, those sorts of things. I, I'm good. I still got that one room that I gotta figure out how to get, um, get out of. There's like six guys in there. But I think this is the portal room. I'm gonna check this real quick. Just cause I wanna see, cause this might just be an easier way to go. Actually, hold on, I don't, I don't need to right now. That'd be silly. I'm not gonna, like, start mucking with things when I don't need to.
Hey, bud. Oh, also, uh, change that was made in the patch notes. Skeletons that wield weapons will now no longer deal, uh, increased damage because of the weapon that they were holding. <laughs> Uh, Iskel was mentioning some, like, misconfiguration or whatever, where, uh, they did actually... Mm, I don't... I still don't... I mean, yeah. It's probably fine. Well, they did more damage as a result. It was not intentional, but that's fixed now. Does this break the coins on top? It doesn't. All right. Oh, a gilded. Um, I mean, sure. Could be more than one gilded in there as well, too. Oh, yep. There we go. Little different taste of the vault today. Um, grab that. Thank you. Thank you. Inventory's a little full. Put some stuff away real fast. Thank you. Very nice. Worth it. Definitely worth it. Yeah, Vault Experience is going to get kind of crazy. I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody loot this amount of chests before. I've seen what people can get from completing vaults. I've seen the experience people get for mining player ores and stuff, from like mine rooms or whatever. It's been pretty high. I don't think I've seen anybody um, open this many chests, though. So this will be real interesting. I love from Asphalt. I'd be surprised if we didn't, realistically. Well, actually, you do need a lot of experience for a level up. So I, I probably shouldn't say that. Hmm. Oh, there's a kill altar there. Oh! Whoa, hey, bud. Altars are good, too. Altars are very good. Ouch. Didn't get me. Nice. Thank you. Um, I'd like to only proc the single spawner over here. Get within range! Thank you. How many you need? Six? Okay. Uh, A shell! The run's on good pace! We actually have a run! Feel strong, man! Ow. Ouch! Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Two can play that game. Get me the fuck out of here for a moment. Get me out of dodge. Sniper boys. I can play the same game, brother. Those should both have counted. And they both did. One more, please. Time to go, brother. It's okay. I got... Oh, shoot. I got time, don't you worry. We ain't doing a Wendar altar or anything. Do I look like I'm standing at a distance? Hold on, I gotta wait until this next wave spawns and then we, uh... Break spawner, loot the altar, and we go. Should try a crossbow? The thing is with a crossbow is that you can't get infinity, so then we have to worry about arrows, and I'm not really too down for that, to be honest. Crystal cave and six common rooms. Alright. I mean... Hello, lovely. What's up, babe? Alright, I'm gonna make my way around. Gonna go a little bit more back toward the entrance. 
and we'll uh, excavate and search near our spawns. So I need to take out that room. It's got a bunch of those dudes. Could probably cut and uh, get closer. I just want to make sure I know exactly where I'm going. You guys know me. Considering I went north, I probably only need to go south once. I know. I know. I actually do have time to check and see if this is the exit right here, though. So I think I'm going to do that. I just haven't really been paying attention to directions too much with the lack of coordinates. Afraid that I would, like, mess up one direction and then suddenly I'd have no idea how to exit a vault. Because I'm, like, completely turned around and lost. But I can see right here, because this absolutely should be the portal room on the right side. And then we could go south one more and loot that way. We have an idea when the public releases, set for the 26th. Nice, okay, cool. Is that the portal room? Uh, would have to be. Yep, cool. Alright. Let's go south, remember to go north. After we're done here, we got six minutes. That's a good bit of time. That's a fair bit of time. Got a single down there. Is it the only one in this room? I can't even see it. It's a bit lame. I don't really care then. Uh, we can go this way. Keep a little bit closer to, uh... Ball portal. It seems like we found a good amount of ornates at the beginning. Uh, last few rooms have not been too great for ornate count. Just like visible ones. Just depends on layout, I'm sure. This one's already immediately better. Alright. Having these amount of shulker boxes. Really nice! Especially in scav. It's half our vaults anyway. The idols is not pop, why not just use totems? Well, totems I don't think at the moment are the easiest to achieve, but also idols give benefits. So like, this idol that I have on me gives me plus 8 mana, which is considerably nice. And they can also get a lot better too. Slow boy? Oh my god. Pretty damn nice, man. Pretty damn nice. Ooh. Back up there, brother. I think I'm gonna loot one more room, maybe two, if I can just run through and grab the ornates. I think I might only be looting one more room. I might only be looting one more room. I want to make sure I take care of these guys. How does he not run out of arrows? How many did he bring? Yeah, decreased damage is nice. I'm not having too much of a struggle against him. It's good. Yeah, we might call this one the last room. Looks like it's a pretty damn good last room, aside from the one trap there. Hey! It's plus 5 XP. You can live. Man! I'm getting fucking sauce right now, dude. I don't think so, bud. I don't think so. Are you guys getting an ad? Classic Twitch. Classic Twitch. Oh, uh, we gone. Let's get out of here. You trapped us to go leave nothing for opening them? I have no idea. I feel like that would be a little bit difficult to test. You'd have to, like, count every open and see whether or not that works for the total. Maybe it wouldn't be that hard, though. If you, like, only open one single type of one chest and it had, uh... It was trapped, you could probably tell. So maybe it does, maybe it doesn't have it. I got no clue. That was a great fall. I'm not out yet, guys. Surely he makes it out and doesn't get lost when the exit's right next to him. 
That Omega room, man. Oh my god. I thought that was a uh, an ornate chest right there. Such a cool design. I want to know how long that took to, to make and like where the inspiration for it came from. One of the coolest builds I've ever seen in Vault Hunters. It's a really damn cool build in general, man. All right. It was a good time to take, uh, <laughs> it was a good time to take the boots and it was a good time to take the additional chest. So, hey, only 10 durability in the leather boots for the whole thing without any risk. Godspeed, man. How much, how much experience? Only 1,400. So there you go. Opening that many ornates doesn't really add a lot of XP to the vault. Or it might have also just been balanced in the fact that we didn't really kill too many mobs in comparison to what we normally do. Um, 70 chests open, two coin piles collected, one ornate modifier. Oh, damn. Hey, you know what? Hold on, wait a minute. I might want to use that as a, uh, I might want to use that as a screenshot. So, <laughs> so here's the, uh, here's the end bit. Four Omega, 256 experience, 12 epic, five rare, 28 common, and six trapped. And you can see right here for the experience on here, I'm assuming then that trap doesn't count for, uh, yeah, I don't think it counts for any XP. One altar was rare, three gilded, common, fine. Two coin piles, one pan or 32 experience, one lair martwar for 8 XP. Mobs are killed, 5 straight, 17 drown, 18 vault dwellers. All right. Oh, oh man. All right, hold on. I, I got to see here. Show me this and show me that. And let me, uh, let me put some stuff away really fast here. Everything except, everything except the gear. What was the end of our, the end of our haul? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven pieces of unidentified gear from that vault. Three weapons, one helmet, one chest, one boots, and one shield. All scrappy plus. Nuns just scrappy flat, all scrappy plus. That's pretty nice. Goddamn, man. First gilded. Uh, ornate run. I can't say, just say gilded run because that's what I'm used to from the previous vaults, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. Let me get a sleep job in real quick so I don't get interrupted by phantoms because that's a classic old W. Gilded sounds better, though. I mean, that's what we're used to, right? Ornate run? Eh, it's got a ring to it, in my opinion. What are ornate chests? Ornate chests are one of the different types of chests that uh, specifically can offer gear, which is why we got so much of this. Let's do uh, let's do the gear pieces first. We'll start off with the helmet because we already have one. Scrappy, okay. Rusty Scout, do the chat's about to go up with the transmogs. Uh, four armor. Four armor, 13 durability, 1300 durability, four repairs, and plus 5% item quantity. Okay. So, in comparison to the helmet that we currently have, which did take durability damage, it's one armor more, which is nice. Considerably higher dura, even though with the amount of damage that we took in that vault, 10 durability is really not a lot. Um... 5% item quantity compared to our 4%. Also pretty good. Not soulbound. We lose the health and the mana. At the moment, I'd probably keep the helmet that I do have. Let's see. Do we have any suffixes available? No. So there's no available suffixes either. So if we were going to try and add a modifier to this, we can't. Because there's no uh, prefix or suffix availability on it. It's locked in at 1 armor and 5% item quantity. So, you know what? Admittedly, not that great. Still pretty okay. Uh, we'll do the uh, boots next. You can all control check some stability too. Oh, cool. Okay. Scrappy as well. Rusty Raider boots. Ooh, okay. Three armor, 6% crit hit res, 1200 durability, four repairs. That's an extra heart and additional item quantity. So that would be 8% item quantity in total. That's already a nice upgrade. And. 
Oh, would it show on there then? Is that how it looks? Oh, let me visualize it on here. No additional suffix or prefix. Okay, so not bad. Tier 1, 3 to 4, decent durability, max on that, low roll on. Uh, it's pretty good. Those are our new boots. Chest plate coming up next. Item quantity just means more items, essentially. Rusty. All right. Compared to a four armor. Okay, five armor, three repairs. High durability, 6% crit hit res, an extra heart, and 5% thorn chance. Uh, no additional prefix or suffix. That is the highest roll on armor. Shift to see advanced tooltips. Oh, got it. Okay, thank you, Iskel. Low roll on health. Decent on Thorn Chance. Considering our helmet also has Thorn Chance, that's pretty good. So that's our new chest play for the time being. Solid. Scrappy Shield. Oh! Good old vanilla shield transmog. Additional health as well! 8% block chance, 3 HP, 1175 durability. So that is a uh, little bit of a low roll on durability, pretty decent roll on block chance, and max roll on prefix. Okay, not bad. That's our off end. I'll probably pick that over the additional mana on the uh, vault idol. Yeah, definitely. The block chance and the health, I think over the mana for sure. Especially the stuff that we use now is pretty low on mana as well. Scrappy sword. We're gonna have a lot of HP. Common sword underscore zero. Eight attack damage plus eight percent attack speed compared to ooh, our eight attack damage sword. Okay. And durability. So we low rolled entirely on the attack damage. We have an empty prefix. We got an empty prefix on the sword. So could do some good with that. We'll modify you in a moment. Before we mess into too much, let's go and check out the axes. Axes could be good as well. Believers, it suddenly isn't looking too good for you. 13 attack damage. So that's the low attack speed benefit there. 7% stun attack chance and soul bound. No additional modifiers. Nearly max rolled on damage. Attack speed is also really good and durability is solid. Okay, not a bad axe all around. And uh, the last one. <laughs> Any epic pluses? Oh, it's not a win for the believers. The believers do, the, the nopers do take it home, but it's a rare. Hey, beautiful. Is that chaining that I see? 15 attack damage total, poison cloud. What do we have here? Low roll on the base attack damage. Pretty good, nearly max on attack speed. Durability's right in the middle. Chaining attack, low roll. Poison cloud, great. Empty suffix as well. And we mid-rolled on the additional attack damage. Five repairs. That's the weapon we're working with. So here's the gear. Here's like the, you know, we can look at it for sure. But here's the, the big ones. So let's go ahead and grab up our... Let's grab up some silver for currency. And let's grab up some vault plating. And let's do a little bit of work in our, uh, in our arson station. So, oh, also I need the idiot, brother. You need the uh, focuses. So we got wild focus, amplifying focus, and the nullifying focus. Not sure if we're going to use that or not, but we'll see. Don't want to mess with anything too heavily right now, especially when we are not at the stage where we have the focuses that will reset crafting potential. But we've got a pretty... Oh, we only have two of the nullifying focuses. I thought I got a little bit more than that, but I think I was just seeing stars, which is not unexpected. Alright, so yeah, we have an additional suffix. And we can either, with these three... We can either reforge all prefixes and suffixes. I don't think I want to be doing that. We can add a new random modifier with the amplifying focus, or we can remove a random modifier. There's not really anything here I want to remove personally. So I think we'll just be content with uh, throwing on a new random and seeing what that offers. We need two plating and six bronze. Okay. Chuck me some bronze over. 
drop that in there. Thank you. Yeah, you can start messing. Yeah, the, the inventory and everything like that. Yeah, I was showing earlier that it has a uh, more than 64 stack and everything. Give us something good, baby. All right, so it's, it's never leaving, basically. Soulbound. All right, interesting. Interesting. You know, it, in the worst case, so we were going to die, at least we wouldn't lose the weapon. You know, it's new. Things are getting rebalanced. I'm not exactly against that, to be honest, you know? I think, I think we take that pretty happily. Um, you, yeah, you don't have anything here. Rerolling prefixes. I'm good on the health, so you're you're set as is. You are also set, and you're also set. So what were the things that had the empty prefix? You had an empty prefix, and that was basically it, right? You had a soulbound too. Yeah, my hat also has soulbound as well. So let's see, five armor on this bad boy for the chest piece. The armor is good. That's max roll, right? Yeah, it's max roll. Prefix two health. Suffix 5% thorn chance. We were want to want to use a wild focus to re-roll the prefixes and suffixes to get rid of the health and get rid of the thorn chance we could. But I'm just curious, with all this on right now, what does our max health look like? Offhand the shield, chest plate. What the <laughs> Why is this swing like why does it got a shader effect on when I'm in my inventory? That's this thing. And the boots. That's a clean 15 right there. That's a pretty clean 15 HP. Or 30 HP, I guess. Everything but good leggings at the moment. The armor 2 health, 4% item quantity, 2 health, and 5% thorn chance. I I might just leave things as they are at the moment with this. I don't think I'm looking to do too much here. Because, yeah, I can remove the health and maybe get an additional armor piece. But what if we roll health and it's three and I have half of a heart? I feel like I'd rather have just 15 hearts instead of 15 and a half. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The three health on this one kind of bothered me for a little bit. Whether that makes sense or not, I don't know, dude. Just the, the clean 15 looks, you know, looks pretty good, you know? That's sick, man. So, 8% item quantity and holding the axe. What do we got on the stats page? Damage per second, 17.4. 30 hearts, 19% defense. Your total protection level including armor, resistance, and block chance. 110 mana and 0 agree. That's just the other levels. Uh, 15 armor, 16 attack damage, 1.09 attack speed, 1 chaining attack, 15% hit crit hit resistance. Which, find it kind of funny that spiders actually could crit hit before the update that went out today. That was funny. 8% item quantity. Uh, 110 mana, 70% mana regen, 4.5 reach. Soulbound, yes. Thorns chance, 10. We don't have any thorns damage, but whenever we do get to that point, if at some point. And also, uh, we got this the other day. We have plus one on a donut, which is... Uh, complete a donut also for a chance to gain favor with the donut. Favor above plus four or below minus four is a chance to apply a buff or a curse. So at the moment, we're on par for additional soul shard drop percentage and increased damage. And with Wendar, we're on par for minus vault time percent and plus mob movement speed. I really don't want to get this one any higher, but yeah, we're not anywhere near that point because we'd have to get to four on the positive or negative side. So as it stands, we have a modifier change or favor change, but it's not going to do anything yet. Okay. That's pretty solid, man. And then we got a bunch of other loot here as well, too. God damn. That's a that's a good ass first modifier for a vault, man. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. That was pretty nuts. Alright, hey chat, listen. I'm gonna go ahead and I know it's abrupt, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. Uh, I need to go take a call for a little while. I may be back in like an hour or two with more Vault Hunters for the remainder of the night. Otherwise, I'll just be on tomorrow for a fuller length stream. I just had some stuff come up today that I gotta take care of IRL. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I appreciate you guys a lot. Is, uh, I'm assuming that Jordan is streaming. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that Jordan is streaming. Assuming that Jordan's streamer right now. No gladiator? Um... 
I'm I'm probably gonna be on later. Unless raffle. Rumble more raffle. I feel like I don't want to save a glider until later tonight. The boss! See you in the gladiator arena, King. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think we'll run the gladiator arena, um... Probably tonight, then, with everything. But yeah, either way. I'll probably be on in a bit. I appreciate you guys in a lot. Uh, in a lot. Yeah, that's it. Uh, go say some love to Jordan. Tell him, uh, hope things are good. Please don't brag about the belt or anything. It's always annoying. He'll be like, Pete got this! He knows. He, he's streaming, too. So be respectful and shit. Go in there, wish him luck with the vaults that he's running. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys either a little bit later today or tomorrow for a full-length stream. All right.